It's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm outside the lane, the glorious lane, on a glory, glory night that was again nervy, but in the end, we won 2-1 with Moussa Dembele scoring another late goal for Spurs. It brings up the question once again, is this all by design? You know, is it because of Pochettino's brilliant fitness work that he does on the training ground that we're still turning over late results when other teams are faltering? Uh, is that covering the cracks from the fact that we've let another team in? That's the third time in this group stage of the Europa League that we've been ahead and let a team back in it. Will that affect us come the end of the group stage? Hopefully not. We've got two more games, Carabag away, Monaco at home. You'd like to think there's a minimum of four points in that. As it stands, we're top of the group. I think three points would get us through. I'm hopeful of that happening. Anyway, this is the match review. Let's talk about what happened. Um, I thought we started a little bit averagely, to be totally honest. I thought uh, Anderlecht were way more up for it than Spurs were, which in a way makes sense. We've got a massive game on Sunday against Woolwich. And of course, you know, it's human nature. I'm not suggesting that players think openly about not trying as hard, but it's human nature, in my opinion, that they'll be a bit worried about going into tackles too hard because of injuries and stuff like that. So other than the players who I think won't play on Sunday, such as Trippier and Davis, who really worked their, their socks off and did go hard into challenges, I felt we were maybe 5% off the pace in the opening stages. And Anderlecht had a good few chances. The defending was good. And then maybe after about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so, we got back into it. We started probing and, and, and pressing and pressuring them and started getting the ball uh, side to side uh, and getting momentum up. And then in the back end of the first half, we really, really started making it happen. And of course, we've got to talk about Harry Kane's goal, which was an unbelievable finish very reminiscent of how he started getting the ball rolling last season when he was just scoring goals in the Europa League and the fans started clamouring to be included in the Premier League. And that's how it started for him. I have to give props to Ryan Mason, who played a lovely little ball between the lines into Christian Eriksen's feet. And then Christian Eriksen, in my opinion, is the only player on the park who could play such a delicate little through ball to Harry Kane to strike that first time in on goal. So it was a lovely little team move. Three people right through the axis down the center and a lovely finish. Moving on to the second half, we took Ericsson off. Uh, obviously, he plays most of the game, so that's to give him a little rest before Sunday. And then we started losing control of it a bit. And to be fair to Andlek, when they equalized, they deserved it. They'd had a number of chances and it kind of crept in at the near post. Bad defending from Super Jan Vertonghen, but you know, he's due a mistake and I'd rather it be this, this match than on Sunday. But he, he thought there was no one behind him and there was and it went in. Fine. Then after that, you kind of think, let's just make sure we don't lose this game because the group's very tight. Then up steps Moussa Dembele. He comes in off the bench. He's been playing so well recently, sticks it in the top corner. Three and three for him and just now really showing us the talent we knew he had. But he seems to be looking more positively forward now, not just sideways and backwards, willing to have more shots. He had an earlier shot on his right foot that tested the keeper as well. And a 2-1 victory puts us top of the group going forward into the North London derby on Sunday. Momentum is up, everyone's bouncing, thinking we can really go there and have a good go. Arsenal have got injuries, you know, we've got a few, but more importantly, I think we know what our 11 is. Uh, certainly, you know, 11 out of 12, we know. Uh, sorry, what I mean is I think, you know, there's maybe one, one place up for grabs and we can really look positively going there and have a good go. And because we're unbeaten in 10, in a way, it is a no-lose gamble. Let's just really go for it, play compact, play narrow and try and hit them on the break away from home nick it and then hold on. That's what I'm thinking. A 1-0, a 2-1, let's do it. And how pumped will we be after that? Anyway, guys, let us know if you agree with what I had to say about tonight's match in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.